basically the last three years like wanting to do this um, but just being really um, caged there is a hummingbird let's see if I can get this mid rant but there's a really pretty hummingbird okay that was freaking awesome that was the very first time I've ever seen a hummingbird in person and it was just magical and it was and it was came while I was talking about how inspired I am and how like I feel like I'm doing things with my life and that is just a spiritual thing that I feel like I just experienced I don't even know what I was saying official full day one of the conference and it's like mid-afternoon right now it is almost 4 p.m. and I haven't vlogged at all but I've been really enjoying all the speakers but just like doing it I think was like the main lesson that I took from that just like literally just stop harboring all of that anxiety and just the to-dos and all of the overwhelming things to make a business work and just do it and I feel like I resonated with that because just in the last couple of months I've been really pushing this channel from Liz with Love. I have spent the last basically the last three years like wanting to do this but just being really caged. I finally had the courage to just start filming and vlogging and doing something. Where I'm at now at least with this channel, it's you know it's not necessarily where I want to be, but I, I have to start here. I have to start here in order to make my like larger and more ambitious goals even in the realm of possibility because I need support. I just need people who are interested and to help me get to the next level. I just want to be able to tell people's stories, but unfortunately in this day and age, for people to be interested in you know helping you do that you need the numbers and you need people to follow you because that is what is you know marketable and so that's where I'm at right now I'm like really driving that home and really learning how to do that and to do it in a genuine way I don't ever want to come across as scammy or that I'm taking something away from you guys because I am so indebted to you, it's insane. You guys make it possible for me to, you know, to be able to pitch my ideas to people who have influence and could potentially help me make my goals come true. And so I want you to be happy and I want you to know who I am and I want you to trust me. Ugh, and I know that's a huge, like, responsibility. Ugh. So it's like walking that line and it's learning how to walk that line how to grow as an online business, but still being true. I'm sorry that I'm just like rambling, but these are kind of my thoughts. And it should be about time for the next talk. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. Um, sorry, there was no like conclusive thought to that. Yeah, maybe more later tonight? Yeah, we'll see how the night goes. Okay. Are you Okay guys, so I just hijacked this scavenger hunt and uh, we're just gonna go out to Newport. We don't know any of the clues yet. We don't know where we're going. We're just going to Newport. Oh, men with beards and what are their last names? That's the clue, right? Okay, so clue number one, let's go. Guys, this is unreal right now. Oh, there you go. The, the men. Let's go to the pier. Oh my god, it looks so yeah. pretty. We gotta wait for peeps to get all their Instagram photos. Yeah.
Angela, what is your block? Destination Drifter. Destination Drifter. Fashion, travel, mostly travel. Okay. Infused. Cool. Okay. So like lots of lifestyle stuff too. Like yeah, I'm I'm definitely in the whole like more of a rock and roll type look. Love it. That sort of thing. I'm into it. Cool. Hey, so I'm back in my hotel room. I had a really fun time uh, with our little scavenger hunt. Tomorrow is the last day of the conference, so there's a few speakers, and yeah, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about. Just everything that I'm learning here. It's overwhelming, but definitely doable. Um, so I'm just gonna lay down and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning.